Hi guys, here I am doing another job. This time is a 07 Sedona. I'm doing the starter on it. Uh, the easiest way to really get it done is to take the battery out and the, uh, the holding bracket. It has two 10 volts and four 12 at the bottom. You take the bracket out, it has this little clip for the cable. So it just pushes out and then this one over here that also you gotta pinch it and push it out uh, once you do that I don't know if you can see it but I unplugged the tranny cable here so that I could actually get down there I don't know if you can see that empty hole there that one that's the top bolt that's a 14 for the starter that's the top one and then uh, the starter has another 14 right in the middle of the um, I'm gonna see if I could get down there and show you guys right in the middle of the uh, um, engine mount Let's see if I could get in there see that hole there that's the uh, bottom for the starter right there and that's right in the middle of the motor mount so it's doable with without taking the motor mount I've seen some videos that they have the motor mount taken it apart and so on. You don't have to do any of that. So once you do that, obviously you got to take the shield. This, this shield here that the starter has. It has uh, around 3, 4, 10 millimeter bolts on it. And the way you slide it out is right through here. Right through here. You have to turn it, flip it, and then push it out and it comes right off. And then the starter, when you, I still have the old starter here, but I already unhooked the cables on it. When you take it off, you move it back, slide it, and then tilt it so that it's looking up the front of it. And then on this side, you're going to be able to take the plugs out and the, and the other 12 millimeter nut that hooks up to it. And then after you do that, don't fight the starter. Don't try to take it out through here or any other place. It's going to go out through the top. Facing up, you're going to be able to pull it up through the top. I'm going to see if I can show you guys that. Alright, so here we are. So there's the starter. I'm going to try to take it out through there. With one hand, obviously. So. Kind of hard to, uh, it's kind of hard to get it done with one hand here. Uh, the point is to take it out. So that's the starter. And this one's still OEM from, from Kia. So, yeah, Hyundai, Kia, same thing. Uh, I don't know if they ever change it or not, but. Uh, it's definitely weak on start, so we're gonna try a new one. So yeah, so that's done, and then you put it back in the same way. You put everything back in the same way you took it out. And I'm gonna show you guys after I get it all done again. But yeah, you don't have to take the motor mount. You don't have to take any of the stuff that I've seen in other videos, and all people get it done. It's just too much work. There's no. There's no reason why you should be able to have to do all that work to be able to get this done. So, alright, I'll give you guys post it here in a second, see what the next step will be. So right now I'm going to try to put the new starter back in and try to hook up the cables and whatnot and show you guys if I can that process. Alright, I'll be right back. Alright guys, so everything is back in place already. I already started it a few times. And she starts perfectly fine. Um, the battery is a little bit old and it's kind of weak. It's an 18 battery and it's a Walmart battery. Do not, please do not ever buy Walmart battery. They're garbage. But yeah, she starts a uh, weak battery now is the only issue that it has, but she starts perfectly fine. Let's see down there if I can show you guys. So make sure that you put your shield back on. That's where it goes. 
Make sure that you tight, you know, your bolts in there. Let's see if it will focus. There we go. Um, but yeah, so that she's up and running. Make sure that by the time you put in the shield back on, you still have power off. That way you're not making any uh, life, you know, ground connections. And yeah, so she's ready to go. <clears throat> Sorry about the whole movement and everything, guys. It's just, like I said, it's hard to be doing everything with one hand and trying to do a bunch of other stuff with the other eventually i'll get a little bit more better set up but for now this is what i got i hope hope that the quality is good but yeah start it back in again you don't have to take this um the motor man out or the bracket or any of that craziness that people say online you just bring the starter right through the center top and then move it out this way and that's it and then you put you know your stuff back in and and you're good to go all right guys Again, subscribe, share, and if you guys have any questions, I'll be glad to help out and point you guys in the right direction. Um, yeah. Alright guys, subscribe, share, and be safe out there. Till the next one.